We'll be starting with the bottom tier for this cake. Mine's already been stacked and crumb coated, so I'm applying the final layer of frosting. This is buttercream frosting. Now you'll be sure to leave the recipe in the description box for you guys. And to make sure it's all nice and covered. And then taking a frosting scraper going around to push the buttercream into the empty sections. And if you do have any spaces that don't want to fill, you can just go in with extra buttercream. When you're happy with the finish, bring the lip of frosting towards the middle and refrigerate your cake for a good 20 minutes. While this is setting up, you can grab your top tier and follow the same steps as well. For the top tier, I recommend placing it into the freezer for 15 minutes if you can. That way it has enough time to really set nice and solid and you can handle it with your hands without it messing up. For the ganache, I've taken white chocolate buttons by Nestle, added heavy cream, making sure it's all completely coated and then zapping it in the microwave for 30 seconds. I'll be sure to leave the ingredient amounts in the description box for you guys. To tint it, I highly recommend going in with white gel food color before you add on any colored. That way it gets rid of the yellow tint of the white chocolate and you get a more true color um, in pink. For the bottom tier, you want to add some support beams. So three bubble tea straws cut flush at the top of the cake in a triangular formation, and then stick your top tier to the bottom tier with a little bit of buttercream. I've taken my white chocolate ganache, popped it into a piping bag and cut a very small slit at the end. The smaller, the more control you have with the drip. Make sure to cover the top of your cakes until about a centimeter away from the edge and then arch your drips connecting it to the big puddle. I go in really light with pressure because I don't want to add too long of a drip and you can always add extra on top of it later if you need it to drip a little bit longer as you'll see I do here for the top tier. I created a puddle but just along the sides I left the very center empty because I knew I was going to be covering that with flowers so I didn't need to waste more chocolate. And you can see here how I just kind of dripped over the same area to get longer drips. Pop it into the fridge to set for at least half an hour and in the meantime you can take your fresh foliage or greenery and completely cover it in gold dust, just pouncing over the top with edible luster dust. When you're ready you can arrange your flowers onto your cake. I've made sure to cover the stems in plastic wrap or food wrap and then you can also pop it into a straw if you like and then directly into the cake. Do the same for the bottom and you have a really simple but elegant looking cake made in very little time. If you guys enjoy this cake decorating tutorial and give it a go, if you do recreate it I'd love to see it, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot. Thanks so much again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.